Who's excited? We're finally here with the game room tour video, guys. I know you guys are really excited to see what this game room tour and what's in this room and what I use on a daily basis. So we're not going to waste any time. I don't think this intro needs to be any longer. Let's get into it. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a recce is the gaming tech. Gaming techie is the gaming tech. Gaming techie. Welcome, guys, to my game room tour. It's been a long time coming. I'm happy to have you guys watch this video and give you guys a tour of what's been going on down here and how this all looks. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So we got here the, the sign as soon as you walk down the stairs, Carlos says, man cave, I got this custom made when you walk down here. And the first thing you see is right here. Coming down here on the right, uh, the first thing you see is the actual, we got this custom made uh, for from a friend of ours. He gave us this, it's a hockey like bar uh, wine holder kind of thing. So that's cool. And you know, we got that sign there. Man, a man cave light switch. This goes to the laundry room. So we thought we'd be funny to add a restroom sign. There is a restroom, you know, uh, stall in there. So it makes sense anyway. But then we got the giant's flag here. Moving on over here, we got the Oliveira Home Theater. Uh, this sign was custom made. This thing is great. Uh, I love the look of that thing. And right underneath that, we have the drop your tickets stub thing here for the movie theater. So that looks really cool. Around here, let me go on the other side to give you guys a full look at this. Real quick. And so here is... How it looks like so let's start on this side with the popcorn machine this is the where we just came down before so here's the popcorn machine we got a sign up here uh, snack time with the uh, with the full popcorn machine here this makes great popcorn it's from it's uh, by Great Northern it says it right there Great Northern popcorn company uh, thing works great. We've used it for movie nights and stuff. It makes popcorn really pretty quickly in like five, six minutes. It's making batches. So love that popcorn machine. Now here's something that I really wanted in the game room for the movie theater. Sorry, not the game room, the movie theater side. And uh, I love, and we got this case from actually a company that specifically makes them for movie theaters. So this worked out really well. And you know what? I actually forgot to show you guys. Let me do it right now. I should have turned this on before, but we actually have uh, some lights inside that we, you know, turned on. So there you go. So all that is like uh, kind of lit up inside there. So we got some candy in there. We got some of the popcorn bags. We got the snow cone cups in there, some hot dog stuff in there, and then the candy. Sometimes this is more full. Sometimes it's more empty. It really just depends. These Twizzler filled twist, especially the red ones in there, are, are amazing. And so are these Starburst jelly beans that are hard to find because they're the fave red ones that are also really good. Coming up here to the top, we got the snow cone machine. This is uh, no nothing crazy, just like a $40 one, uh, just the work, the other ones you find at like Target or stuff like that. But it works well. It's been working. I've used it like 10 plus times and I haven't had any issues with it. So now uh, this thing uh these um jesus i lost my train of thought uh cotton candy maker jesus um this thing has done a lot of cotton candy for us it works really fast uh makes you know it's it's one that they use even though it's not a stand like the popcorn machine this is one that they use at like a, a carnival or something like that it makes them really quickly it makes like one every like 15 seconds or even less than that and uh, it tastes really good. It works really well. I've used it again like 10 plus times and, you know, I've had lines, like 20 lines of people waiting for it. And, you know, it's made really quickly. It doesn't take that long to heat up or anything. So this thing is great. Uh, also, uh, company, uh, the Vortex. So really good there. Then we got some flavor here with the uh, Have a Coke napkins that we have here. And this is a hot dog maker. I don't use this as often. This is more like a decoration because when we do make hot dogs, we do use those, but we usually just make them on the grill because when a lot of people are here, like, this thing can make like six max and they have to, they take 20 minutes. So it tastes good. Uh, it tastes really good. Like I have, if I'm making hot dogs by myself every once in a while, I use this thing, but, or if it's winter outside and it's snowing and we don't go outside, we may use it. But as far as like party settings and stuff, obviously, Making six hot dogs every 20 minutes may not work out. 
And right up here is the main event for this room, which is the projector. This is an Epson 5040 4K enhancement projector. So basically what that means for those who don't know is that means that this Epson projector uh, does accept 4K signal, but it's kind of upscaling or doing some kind of trickery with the uh, pixels there where it's kind of like, it's more like a 2K projector and it's like, it's not exactly called upscaling. Uh, they are using different technology called pixel shift. But it looks really good. I compare it to my 4K TV that I have upstairs. It doesn't look as good as obviously an HDR 4K projector. This projector also does a 4, uh, HDR. It doesn't look as good as my TV upstairs, but it's still, you know, is much better than a regular 1080p projector, which I had before from an Epson as well. Uh, this is as close as you're going to get unless if you have 15 grand rolling in your pocket, which I don't, uh, just to get a projector that does true 4K. So this is in the middle ground is what I call it. It's uh, much better than a regular 1080p projector, and but not as good as a 4K HDR TV, especially the HDR stuff for a projector to get that bright and stuff. So anyway, enough about the projector. Here's the movie theater side. And we got the couch here. So let's go in there and we'll start on the left-hand corner here. So we got the, um, I forget what this is exactly called, but it's basically the horn. I'll sign it off here in a second for you guys. But basically this is goes off by itself. Every time the New Jersey Devils play and a goal is scored, it's made by Budweiser. This goes off on its own. You can also manually hit it, which we're going to do now so you guys can see it. Basically just does that. It has it for all 30 teams, which is cool, and it works with the iPhone app. You set it up once, and then you never have to set it up again. I've set it up last year, and it's still going. So another fun sign there. And then we got the um, speakers that we have here. Uh, Kalipsch is, I think, how you pronounce it. I may be butchering that name. Um, so that's uh, the two that I have here. I have one here and one here in the corner. Now, I actually just set this up. I don't know if you guys caught that when you were looking up here. I just set up. These are regular like uh, Logitech speakers that I had laying around that are still work really well. If you guys remember back, the Logitech Z5500, 50, I believe, for the PC speakers are 5.1. These are basically two speakers from that from that series. So I put them down here, and now we actually have uh, Dolby Atmos. And Dolby Atmos basically means that you have ceiling speakers. So I have five speakers. We got one here, one here in the traditional sense, back there, right there. And then this corner one, uh, the center channel and, you know, and then the sub is here in the corner. So when you add that together and you got this one, it's basically, this is called the 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos setup. So five speakers is the first part. One is for the subwoofer and two is for the ceiling speakers. This makes a hell of a difference. What, uh, depending on, obviously the Blu-rays have to support Atmos games have to support Atmos. Some of the Xbox games have started to, it works really, really, really well. Uh, I was blown away by the by some of the movies that I've watched, like San Andreas with the earthquake and stuff, where it feels like you're literally having your ceiling come off because of the sound coming above you and rainstorms and stuff. So that stuff works really well. Now, if we move along here, we got my favorite. I wouldn't say they're always going to be my favorite movies. They're just movies that I really, really like. So we got the Mighty Ducks, Wreck-It Ralph, the Harry Potter series. Scrolling through here. Transformers, Star Wars, and Fast and Furious. So those are the posters we have up. They're easily interchangeable, but I've never changed them because I'm not going to change them every time. But that's what we got here. Now let's start here on the left-hand corner. I know the light's a little... Uh, I'll try not to get in the way of the light here so you guys can see everything good. Um, so over here we have something that I actually just started collecting here recently, which is Funko Pops. These are all, on this side, all we have is non-gamer related ones, so all movie theater stuff. So we got, you know, stuff from Game of Thrones, stuff from that 70s show, from Harry Potter, from old classic cartoons like The Rugrats and Hey Arnold, uh, Ninja Turtles. Um, and I'm always adding more. This is just the start of this collection, and obviously you can see I don't have that many. So those are the ones that are there. This is an iCade for the iPad that sits here. Um, I haven't used that thing in a while, actually. it was It's great uh, for what it did, but you know, there's not a lot of support for it anymore because they kind of stopped. Uh, we got a little Pac-Man ColecoVision thing over there. That thing is awesome. Still works, obviously. And then down here we have all the current gen systems. Uh, for something that I don't think a lot of people, a lot of you guys don't know, is that for my Xbox One and PS4, 
those are all strictly digital. Um, so you won't see, I believe there may be one game down there that's on Xbox One and maybe a PS4 game, but that's it. Everything else is, is all digital. So this is everything else. So we got the... Uh, we're not going to go through every single game in here, obviously. If, if you guys want to see a specific 360, like, games I own or, or things like that, you can comment below and I'll make a specific video on the collection of, of a certain system. So, 360, PS3, we got some Switch games there. Switch is half and half. I do half digital, half these uh, games here. It depends on what the game is and how often I'm going to play it. Then we got the Wii U stuff back there. More 360 shelves over there. And then we got some arcade sticks there and some Disney Infinity stuff there. Here on the floor, just to mention it, is, is a Yogaba. These are basically some of the best beanbag chairs you could buy. But what makes them so great is not only how comfortable they are, and they like you can lay down, you can make it into a couch, you can you know do a lot of things with them. But they have last, they last for a long time. You you shouldn't have to hardly replace the beads. Maybe once every few years, depending on how often you use it, two or three years is what they told me. I haven't had to replace the beads yet, and they're all still here. You can see that that thing is full. The only thing I've had to do is wash it twice, so it becomes more like uh, more filled, quote-unquote. So you take that thing off, you throw it on the wash, you put it right back on, you're done. All right, so here's the other speaker that we have here. Here's a projector screen. It is 120 inches. It comes down right through there and barely misses both of these speakers, so the speakers are not blocked, and neither is that one, for those who are wondering. Um, so that works out. Now, this is where it's going to get a little dark because I'm like the light back here is not great, so I apologize. But you guys should be able to make that out. Here's my Gears of War section. The pop isn't in there because it's in a different location. It's actually upstairs in the bedroom. And we got some Call of Duty stuff in here Max Payne, Killzone, and God of War. And that Killzone guy fell down. And then down here, a bunch of random stuff from Borderlands and stuff like that that I've gathered. I used to collect a lot of collector's edition boxes. I don't really buy collector's editions anymore not only because i ran out of room but they're just expensive and i'd rather like now that i have my own house and stuff more things to pay for i don't have as much expendable income to do this to you know buy games and stuff so usually when i want to i want to buy you know two games with for the price of you know buying one collector's edition so it's very hard for me to buy a collector's edition nowadays three posters here for gaming uh super mario galaxy 2 love the the mario series and galaxy is a great game uh, the Halo series, we chose Halo Fuller here, and The Last of Us, which is a great uh, PS4 exclusive. Can't wait for Last of Us 2. Now here we have all the new-gen systems that we have here. The new-gen systems that we do have here, uh, you may notice that there is no PS4 and, PS and Xbox One X. So here will be an Xbox One X in a couple of weeks here. I'm waiting uh, basically for tax season to get a second one so me and my wife can start playing games again together because uh, she plays some games as well. So we're going to have this down here. So we'll have one on the 4K projector and one on the 4K Samsung TV upstairs. So the Xbox is currently upstairs now because that's where I usually play it now because I just got the Xbox One X. We want to see it in its full glory and stuff like that in 4K and HDR. So I've been playing it up there. And the second one will come down here. PS4, we were not getting a second one for the time being. We may not get one at all because uh, we play mostly Xbox games. I usually tend to play PS4 exclusives. So the PS4 Pro sits upstairs on the 4K TV, and that's where I play that. And then sometimes goes into the living room when we want to play the PSVR, which is up there as well, and you don't see down here. We do have a Switch dock here, though. Let's see if I can get out of the way to get some more light. But the Switch dock is sitting in there. Then a bunch of random stuff. Uh, we got the Sono stuff. We got the switch that sits in here where everything is plugged in. And there's a lot of things being plugged in from all over the house and all downstairs and upstairs and outside. It's crazy. Uh, then we got the Sonos box here. This controls. This is a Sonos receipt. Uh, little. I forget what the exact term is for this thing, but basically it runs down here and have, I have two outdoor speakers that are outside all year round that are Sonos enabled through this thing, so I can just you know, have sound going outside on the patio. Uh, here we have a 4K H uh, HDR Blu-ray player. So we got that there. Here we have the Halo Edition Xbox 360 with the 3D vision next to it. We got a PS2 and a PS3 there. Then we got the speaker there. Then we got the purple GameCube, which it does have the 480p cable. 
connected to it, which is not cheap. I got really lucky when I got mine. I only paid like 50 bucks, uh, which is a lot for a cable, but that cable goes for like 150 last time I checked, and it's been a while since I checked, so I don't know. Uh, this is a completely modded Halo Xbox. It has a two terabyte hard drive, and all, all my games are backed up to it. You'll see my Xbox collection there in a minute. I have all my games backed up to it and a bunch of stuff on there, a bunch of random programs and stuff, so that thing is cool. Fully modded up. Has some lights in the front and stuff like that. Moving on to here, we got the, uh, I believe this is from Halo Reach, if I'm not mistaken, that statue that it came with. Assassin's Creed. Batman. That statue in the corner fell too. I don't know what happened down here. Um, then we got some random stuff from ha from down here. Castle Crashers, the figurine there. Uh, the soundtrack to Bioshock and stuff. A lot of these uh, shows, you know, they have some cool statues. I need to figure out what some, some stuff needs to change out and add a few things like the shelf's a little empty. But, you know, it still looks good. Uh, there's the Borderlands um, Collector's Edition, like, um, loot chest, Jesus, that it came with. Moving on to this side. So, here on the top, we have a bunch of Star Wars stuff randomly. Some of them are real figures, like, not real figures, but, like, figures that Disney Infinity, or, sorry, that Disney made specifically for the Star Wars series that are sitting up here. And then... Some of them are Disney Infinity ones that I got that are also up here. So as you can... And we got this drone here. Darth Vader sitting back there. Finn is sitting there. So all of these are sitting here. Down here we got a bunch of Disney Infinity characters. It's really unfortunate that Disney Infinity got taken away. Uh, I thought the game was great. And they were going from the rumors, going places really that were really the, the last stuff that they did, the Marvel Battlegrounds and stuff like that were awesome. And that's why I still have the game and don't haven't gotten rid of this collection and not just gotten the PC version that lets you unlock all the characters. Not only because the characters look cool, but also because they didn't release the last couple of things onto there. And Marvel Battlegrounds is probably my favorite thing that they released, uh, along with some of the tour packs that they did. And that's not on the PC version, so it sticks around. Here, we have the Lego Dimensions, which also is probably not getting anything else have, coming to the game. And I still haven't even opened all the packs that I have. So they're just laying here waiting for me to build them. But these are the ones that I have built. So this is the Lego Dimensions stuff. Here are some uh, TV shows. Boy Meets World right there. Best show ever. That is my favorite all-time show, right next to Friends. Boy Meets World is what I grew up on. Friends takes number two, Boy Meets World number one. Dawson's Creek is for my uh, is my wife's show. She loves that show. I actually liked the show too when I actually watched it when she introduced me to it. Uh, here we got some Blu-rays. I'm a big 3D person. This projector that I showed you guys before does 3D, so a lot of the times I get the Blu-rays on 3D. I started getting some 4K stuff as well. Obviously, something that I forgot to mention that when we pass by over there is there's actually an Apple 4K TV down here, so. That is everything on this corner. Here is where all the controllers sit. So this is where like all the controllers that are being used are, you know, GameCube and a bunch of random microphones and Xbox 360 and all that stuff are sitting in here. And over here we actually got an iPad. Basically this whole entire, I mean the whole entire house is to be quite honest with you. But this controls it controls the whole house, but we're talking about the basement currently. Basically, I can come in here as you can see, I can change it to any room in the house, and we are in the movie room. So if I click on movie room, all the options that I've set up are on here. Watch Blu-ray, PS4, Xbox One, X, Apple TV, stuff like that. And that will, you know, turn the lights off, change it to whatever colors I want, bring the screen down, turn the projector on, turn the Xbox One X on or the Xbox or the PS4 or whatever it may be. Turn that stuff on, set it to the right input based on the... AV and I totally forgot to talk about that Denon receiver that was over there. That's my apologies. That Denon receiver is, for those of you guys that care, um, is it's definitely a full 4K. I actually don't remember what the model is off the top of my head. I feel like I want to say... third. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'd have to look that up for you guys. If you guys want to know, comment below, and I'll tell you guys what their model is when I look it up later. But basically, this thing controls all the AV stuff around the house. 
And then also uh, a lot of the stuff that we have around the house is Apple HomeKit enabled since we use iPhones and iPads and stuff. So, you know, cameras are set up, motion sensors, and, you know, all, all the cool stuff set around the houses. You know, our, every light, uh, almost every light in the house now has been converted to Philips Hue lights. So all that is there. And obviously this has Siri. So I can sit here, tell it to turn it to any color. So I could literally say, hey, Siri, turn the movie room lights to purple. And as you can see, all the lights in this movie room have now turned to purple. Hey, Siri, turn the movie room lights to white. Yeah, so that, that stuff is all really cool. We're actually going to have a, a video. I'll have a video that I'm coming out with. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but definitely subscribe to watch it, which is going to go in full detail of my whole entire house on exactly what I have set up because I have a lot more stuff just like that that's really cool to set up that we need to go into. That's just not even half half of, you know, not even the half of what we have as far as that stuff goes. So I believe that is everything in this room. A lot of people come down here and they see this area here and they're like, oh my God, like, like this is awesome blah blah, blah. not realizing because there's a curtain here not a curtain but a flag here of how big the next room is next to it i've gotten that from almost everybody when they came over here for the first time so let's go check it out here is the main game room let's take a quick area shot of here so here we have let's start with the pc set up here in the corner so we got a DX racer chair. I got this for a really good deal when I went to PAX. I actually had to carry it home. Uh, basically, it was their floor model. And uh, this thing is awesome. Haven't had any issues. Really comfortable. Love it. PC setup here. We have an ultra wide here. Sorry, I uh, lost my train of thought there. So this is an ultra wide system that we have. 3440 by 1440 here at the bottom. Over here, we got a, my first monitor, uh, I believe, like first gaming monitor that I got. This is a 3D vision monitor. If you guys remember that from back in the day when NVIDIA, Nvidia was pushing 3D games. So I could still play the games that are compatible with that. There's still a lot of them. So that's in the corner with the glasses there. And this is a 4K. So basically, one of each, basically, is what I have going on there. Now... There's some of these pops here as well that I was talking about before. There's some upstairs, which is why this looks a little emptier because this is where I used to have all the gaming ones, but some of them have moved upstairs into the bedroom with those systems I was telling you about that are in there. We got the Razer keyboard here, Razer mouse, uh, both uh, speakers here for the PC. That is my Plex server running in the background and all of the data that gets backed up and stuff like that sitting there. A little Pac-Man thing. We have the Oculus VR setup here with the two controllers. We got two cameras here on the desk. And if we flip around here, you can see that there's a camera up there and a camera right there. So those are the cameras that I use. And this obviously folds up completely, gets pushed all the way to the back of the room. Those chairs move. And I got this gigantic, um, gigantic space basically all here for, for VR. I, don't, I forget the exact dimensions. It's like 10 by 10 feet or something like that. So it works really well. And and VR is awesome, which we are, you know, going to be doing a, a VR stuff in the future as far as like favorite games and stuff like that. But VR is awesome. I have the Oculus and the PSVR, and I have tried the Samsung as well. My PC there sits in the corner, nothing special about it. Uh, it's the top of the line that's currently out now. It's got a 1080 Ti in it. Because, uh, you know, I game a lot on the PC as well. I forget all the other specs off the top of my head. It has an SSD hard drive from Samsung. It has, uh, I believe, a 6820 CPU. It's not the top of the line. It's just a top of the line computer uh, as far as, like, the specs on it. But there's definitely, obviously, better spec computers out there. This computer is almost a year old now. Just short of it. Over here in the corner, which we forgot to mention, all the pack spins. We go to packs every year. Me and my wife, her sister, go to packs every year. And we got these pins here. And these are all the ones we collected so far. Moving on here to the corner. Just making, poking over there, making sure I didn't miss anything on the PC side. We got the rock band guitar that's 
works with the Oculus. That's why this is sitting here on the corner, which we use with VR sometimes. If you look here, this is the first shelf of four with all my retro games. Uh, quick peek here. Like I said, we're not going to go through every game. We got some Virtual Boy stuff, the Vetrex stuff, Atari, some homebrew stuff for the Atari 2600 there. Some of my favorite games are on there. Uh, Tapper is really good. Warlords is, Warlords is awesome. Medieval Mayhem is awesome. Four players. And television games are here. Then we got uh, the NES down here. And more NES here. You guys can see that there. Then we got some Sega Genesis stuff. NHL 94 is awesome. So is that one. More Sega Genesis down here. I'd have to put some of my select favorites, as you can tell, like standing out in the middle. Moving over here. 3DO, Sega 32X, Sega Master System, Sonic CD. Moving over here is the Sega Saturn. System that I, a lot of these systems I never had when I was a kid. I only got them, you know, a few years ago when I started collecting. Uh, I'm really proud to have Saturn Bomberman here. Uh, for those who don't know, it's a really rare game to have. Some of, a lot of some of these games I have were all really rare. The Garden of Heroes, Panzer Dragoon, Three Dirty Dwarves. Um, Saturn Bomberman is just an all-time great game. For Not only is the Bomberman franchise great, this is the best Bomberman game you could play to date. It's insane with eight players. Going down here, it's a Super Nintendo collection. I was lucky enough to have a lot of these games already from when I was a kid, so I didn't actually have to buy them because Super Nintendo games are crazy nowadays. But I'm still missing a bunch of the popular RPGs and stuff that are crazy expensive. Down here, N64. Conker's Bad Fur Day. Both Zeldas, of course. Paper Mario's back there. All the Mario parties, of course. Love that series. Looking down here, we got a PlayStation. Not a PlayStation. The PlayStation games, a couple of the favorites standing out. Resident Evil series. Poyo Poyo sitting back there, which is a great um, party game. Point Blank 2 and Point Blank 1 and Time Crisis with the controllers. With the gun controllers is awesome. Twisted Metal, of course. Two on two NHL open ice. If you're a fan of hockey and arcade, look that game up. You won't be sorry. Moving down here, we got the Dreamcast, a system that I wish I owned as a kid and never did. Went right by me and never actually owned it. The systems I first got when I was a kid was the Super Nintendo. The Atari was the first one that I believe we went to Super Nintendo. I'm kind of stuck through Nintendo, and I never had any of the Sega systems as a kid, which is crazy. So a lot of these games are when I play them are now new to me when I play them because I never played them as a kid. But Power Stone, awesome series. You guys should all know what Power Stone is. Crazy Taxi, Sonic series. So many good games on the Dreamcast. Crazy Taxi, Gauntlet Legends. Dynamite Cop sitting back there on the corner. Sorry, I was pointing that down. Just a, a great amount of games on the Dreamcast. Looking down here is the GameCube. I love the GameCube. A lot of good games on the uh, came out on the GameCube, even though it wasn't a, spa a smashing success. Some of the standouts there are Metroid, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Kart, of course, Mario Party Tennis, Smash Brothers Melee. And Game Boy Advance games here in the corner. Here down here we have the Game Boy, uh, sorry, the Nintendo DS sitting here. We got two DDSs down here. Small DS Lite, DSi sitting there. The 3DS, which is with, I have the Zelda th uh, 3DS, like the, the Zelda edition, the XL. That sits in my bag upstairs, so it's with me all the time. Just like the Vita is, that's missing from this area here. I have the Blue Edition Vita, the slim model. Same thing with the Nintendo Switch is actually also in my bag upstairs because it's carried. All three of those systems are always in my bag when I, you know, what go arounds. So those aren't down here. Uh, down here we talked about the PSP. 
which I got two PSP models there. The Vita would be back there if I wasn't carrying it around all the time. Those are the Vita games. On top, of course, of all the digital games that I have. Um, if you look down here, we got the Wii games. Now, the Wii gets a lot of crap for a lot of the games not being very good, but there's a lot of good Wii games. Yes, there was, you know, 100 or whatever it may be, games that were crap that came out for it because of all the shovelware, but... There's a lot of good games on this. Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, Zelda Skyward Sword, both Excite Truck games, the Trauma Team series, the No More Heroes series, Super Paper Mario series, all the Mario games, Super Mario Bros. Wii, you know, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, you know, the list goes on. There's a lot of good games and a lot of good party games on this system, too. Moving on over to here. We got a, uh, my giant PS2 collection. Kingdom Hearts is sitting up there. The Ranch and Clank series, the God of War series, Persona series. Another shelf of PS3, uh, PS2. Kanemaru Damacy. Um, you guys should not know what that game is. Got some people in trouble with that game. Um, like it so much, it's down here twice. We got it on the Xbox sitting down here. This is the original Xbox collection. Halo series, you know, the Battlefront series. A lot of good games on here. I love the original Xbox. Like, the original Xbox has so many good games, and it's an awesome, awesome system. So does the PS2, but, like, obviously the Xbox, the original Xbox had a little bit more power, so some of the games run better on there, and it's just an awesome system. So many good games with the NBA Street Series, NBA Jam, uh, Ghost Recon, Splinter Cell. Oh, the memories with Splinter Cell was crazy. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 over there. So many, so many good games. Conker's Live and Reloaded is sitting down here. The NHL Hit Series, the Burnout Series, Flat Out Series, the SSX Series. It's just, the list goes on. And uh, then we have a bunch of random Nintendo magazines that are sitting down here. Then we have the JFI Easy Pro. It's to fix scratch discs and stuff like that. And that's why that is there. Now, let's go back here real quick to the glass shelves that we skipped over because I don't want to do things out of order. So we got some plushies over here. Nintendo Classic. Game Boy Advance sitting down there. The Nintendo Micro sitting down there. The Famicom Edition. Some statues here from Metroid and Street Fighter. A little Zelda collection we have going on here. This is empty because we need to find something to put in there because we used to have Skylanders, but we got rid of them all and sold them all. So those aren't there anymore. We've got a giant Mario, a giant Pikachu here. Love this statue here that we got from the Nintendo Club membership when that was still like giving you physical rewards and stuff. A lot of cool stuff that came from there. Here's another one that came from Club Nintendo. The Luigi's Mansion statue. It's all the 3DS. And these are all the Amiibos. We have more Amiibos that are upstairs in the game room, in the uh, bedroom as well. Some of them are currently being used when I play the 3DS and stuff like that. Moving on. Nice Super Mario poster that we have here in the corner. And this corner here is just a bunch of stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. Basically, all my like gun controllers are in those blue containers in there and stuff like that. Uh, some of the, the Wii balance board is sitting in there. You know, a bunch of random stuff, basically, that has no place sits in there. Uh, this is now all the controllers, just like the other room, except these are all the controllers for the retro systems that are basically all in here. And this is the retro area. So this retro area here is where all the retro gaming happens. We have all the systems down here. Uh, you guys can see it for themselves. I don't need the name of every single one, but, you know, we got the 3DO, Atari, Genesis, Super Nintendo, N64, Pikachu Edition, the Dreamcast, the GameCube, PS1, PS2, the Wii, original Xbox, Sega Saturn, Sega Genesis, etc. We got a Virtual Boy sitting over here. You got a Vetrex sitting over there. And then we got a, a dance pad that we use for the computer. And a nice game room sign. And these, I don't know if they're plugged in. Yeah, they're not plugged in. Or actually, if we turn this game room lights on, on, we may be able to get those. Yep. 
to turn on because they're so close by that uh, they sometimes turn on like that. And then we get them to turn off. And those are the sounds that they make. So yeah, you get the point with those. So yeah, this is where all the retro games happen. And this is a Sony, obviously Sony 32 inch TV thing is heavy as hell. Thank God I had people who were able to bring this down the stairs because I sure as hell wouldn't have been able to. We got a lot of, uh, we got a couple of switches here in the back. We got S video for all the systems that support it. Coaxo for the systems that do that. They're all labeled in here and stuff, so it's very easy to come in here and just rotate between all the systems that are plugged in with a couple of clicks. You do that. And if you want to use the sound from the TV, you can. If you don't want to, we got two X rocker chairs that you can link the sounds together so the same sound comes out of both or one if you're only using it. This is when we were using just recently the Bomberman game I was telling you about that we had this going with the Bomberman game. And these chairs are awesome. They've lasted, uh, I've had these now for two years and they've been running great. It's a uh, 2.1 got a sub inside and the the sound is obviously a lot better than what comes out of there now going to the other corner we're going to leave the stuff in the middle for last this is my main cabinet i was dreaming about having i mean there's a lot of things in this basement that i was dreaming about having when i was you know 16 17 18 when i was able, you know able to have my own house but this i've always wanted and it's a main cabinet it has like over 10,000 arcade games on here I love this thing, and, you know, there's not much else to be said. It's awesome. The artwork on it is awesome. It's made by X Gaming is where I got this from, and, uh, you know, it's been working really well. I've had it for a couple of years. It sounds really it sounds really good. The PC and stuff is down there. Haven't had any issues with it. The thing is great, and uh, a lot of classic arcade games that either I played or never got a chance to play because I never played them in the arcades as a kid, so... Either way, it worked out great. Now, big collection here is the board game collection. It spans from here all the way up. I'm running out of room, so some of them are sitting on top. I've come to the point where, I mean, there's some room left. As you can see, there's a couple of holes and stuff from games that have left because they haven't hit with everyone in the gaming group. But um, so many good games. There's even some on top of the main cabinet that are sitting up there. There's going to be a video of the board game collection itself, so I'm not going to go into detail of you know what's in here, but this is just a panorama of how many games I have. I think I'm up to like 300 plus, and I'm up to the almost the point where like I usually sell one before I put one on the shelf. You know, ones that we're not playing any longer or didn't like when we played them and stuff like that. This table is awesome. It's a gaming slash poker table. It's obviously used mostly for board games in this house because we're not big poker people here. Uh, we have our name customly on it, all of our tabletop game room, which worked out really well. And the material is, is felt. It's really nice. It's uh, spill proof. It's never actually been tested because no one's ever spilled anything because I'm still anal with things spilling on my board games and stuff. Because some of these board games, uh, you know, are Kickstarter editions that are hard to find or expensive or whatever it may be. But uh, yeah, we got this uh, gaming table. It fits eight. So you could go with ten if you want to squeeze people in, but eight works really well on here and uh, this is the drop mix game if you guys haven't heard of that check that out but we'll be doing a full video on this thing soon vghs is a poster that i got and it's all signed by the cast which i don't know if you can tell that you can tell that it's all signed by the cast if you're into video games you need to look that show up i believe it's on netflix it's basically video game high school where a kid goes through high school and is trying to become a professional gamer it's really good uh, here on the table, just some random, you know, Star Wars Destiny board game stuff. Uh, here we got a charging thing. So when everyone comes here, there's a bunch of ports on here to charge. We got an Alexa in here. Cancel. We got her in here. She does basically everything that's, that we have a Siri doing that I showed you guys on the iPad. I have I made sure that whatever I buy you, uh, works for both. So Philips Hue Lights, obviously one of them, works for both sides, so I can use either one because we have that over there, but then we have these up here. We have an, a show upstairs and, you know, stuff like that. So that's why that's there. And then we got a Sonos in here. This is the Play 5. This thing is amazing, and the sound is great. One of the reasons I wanted the Play 5 and didn't just go with the small one like we have upstairs, like the Play 1, it's not because it needed to be louder in here, because the Play 1 would have done just fine. It's because the Sonos Play 5 is the only one that had a audio in. 
and I needed that. As you can tell, the cables there for some of these board games require, like, you know, for it to be plugged into your iPad, like that game right there. And if you want to play it, you need to be hooked up, and we're not going to be playing with audio. And yes, I could have just brought a Bluetooth speaker down here and connected it, but I wanted this thing here, and it works great for what I wanted. And obviously, works really well for music when you're down here as well. Those four shelves just have a bunch of random board game stuff, you know, sleeves and stuff like that, dice. Two Devils bar, uh, bar stool chairs. These are cool. We got a little bar in here. Uh, it's pushed against the wall for obviously space, but if we ever wanted to, we can push it out. Uh, a bunch of there's a bunch of shelves in the back of this thing for alcohol and stuff like that. Bar sign, you know, random knickknacks here for for bar related stuff. Oh, skipped right over this. We have a dartboard here as well. Uh, I forget the exact model because it's been a while since I had to look that up. Uh, it was the top model when it came out. For some reason, 850 is sticking in my head. I don't think this thing actually says the model on it because I'm not seeing it. But 800 or 850 is sticking out of my head. But either way, that thing is, is really good. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It has a lot of games on it too. And it's all electronic. So as soon as you throw it, it knows exactly what you hit. Moving along here, we got a mini fridge in here. This mini fridge is nice. Nice retro look to the room. And then a 32 inch TV in here. Anything that can be played in that room over there, uh, the uh, movie room, all can be plugged in in here. So basically, if I have somebody who wants to play Xbox in the movie room but wants to play PS4 over here, perfectly easily doable. Uh, use the iPad, do what I told you guys before, but do it in this room instead, and it all comes right on here. So it works really well. And you don't obviously need to have anything in that room powered on. You can just use this TV and put the PS4 in here or you know watch TV with the Apple TV, however you want to do it. Down here, this needs to be hung up. It's still on the floor. We just got this. This is my New Jersey Devils wall. Uh, you can tell I'm a big New Jersey Devils fan, uh, big Brodor fan. Got his jersey there signed. Got a bunch of things signed from him. His last, uh, you know, his last days as a devil. I'll sign that as well. It's our name that's been framed. Stanley Cup posters. A bunch of players signed stuff. Got that signed by him as well. Here's a bunch of bobbleheads that we get. Uh, we're, uh, we're season ticket holder members. And an Elias jersey that hasn't been framed yet. A few more pucks signed by different players as well. That's a great poster. And yeah, this is uh, basically our devil's wall. So I love this wall. It's obviously full. There's nothing else we can add to it, but it looks great. And I like it a lot. Now, going to the center of uh, the thing, I know we went through that table already on the two chairs. We didn't go through this Super Checks bubble hockey. Another thing that I really wanted that I loved when I went to the arcades and played this thing, we got this customized from Super Checks themselves. The people who actually made these for the arcades actually make these and let you buy them for home. We were able to get a customized uh, Devils versus Rangers. So this thing looks awesome. And obviously it's all electronic. It keeps track of the score, has a little bit of commentary. It even sings the national anthem in the beginning. Uh, let's actually pop it on real quick for you guys. Lights up. And if you hit uh, the start button. Puck fires up and the game's on their way. I don't know. And what's even more cool it keeps track of the shots too. Like not only the goals, but the shots on goal. It's, this thing's actually really cool. So, thing is awesome. And moving over here, obviously it's a ping pong table. I love ping pong. So this is here in the middle. I think guys, uh, there's one last thing that we want. That I don't know if you guys wanted more details on that. I kind of skipped over and then remembered later, but didn't want to come back, which is this couch, which is really cool for the movie theater. Uh, just to cover a couple of features that it has. Not only is it really comfortable, it's got like the lights here. Uh, it's got the headrest, and you can put your feet out on this one and the outer end one. It has, uh, besides the fact that it's really comfortable, it has this thing in the middle, which I forgot to show off. So basically, we can come here. We can eat. Put that down. One person sits here, one person sits here. 
Got two plugs to to charge whatever you want, and then uh, two USB ports as well. So that works really well. I love that thing. So yeah, guys, I think that covers the actual tour of everything in here. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. If you guys saw something that you wanted me to go into more detail on, definitely let me know. I appreciate you guys all for watching this. I know this video went a little long, but I wanted to go into detail on stuff as much as I could so you guys get an overall look of everything that's down here. And uh, yeah, this is basically what I wanted for a long time, and I'm happy to finally have it. I didn't realize how lucky I am to be able to have this stuff. Um, but it's a really fun time having people over and you know playing these games or playing it with my wife or just coming down here by myself either way you know it's a great time and uh that's it guys thank you guys for watching tech gaming tech is the gaming tech gaming techie gaming tech eating brekkie is the gaming tech going for a brekkie is the gaming tech gaming tech is the gaming tech gaming techie